I like you. I love to speak. Somewhere in prehistory, a dawning. Red sun over Savannah, and maybe today a prayer before the hunt. Some new attempt against starvation. Somewhere in our history, there's a shift shivering down those helices and lighting the spark in someone's eye. And somewhere in that history, times are changing, and we aren't like what we used to be. Somehow, suddenly, there is more to see on these planes than what the eyes show. Those perfect eyes. That bloody sun. Somewhere, someday, they'll find this stone and puzzle. A statuette, an early idol. The work of some first lonely dreamer. Form versus function, beautiful and useless. You can't tan rawhide with such shapes. What poor fool made this? And with it, invented God. And with that, invented hope. A shape to pray to. Made of boredom, the day's work done, and nothing to do but bang rocks together, and hey, this one looks like my mother. The first honest statuary, terrified, as always, of our makers. Or made of a fear more universal, newly conscious and suddenly aware of our limitations. No matter how keen our blades and strong our arms, we are dying, and there is nothing to be done. That spark, it's awful. That blinding sun, those deepest of nights. Awake and listening to the lions dancing while they slaughter. Now we need more than just to eat and fuck. Prayers for after life. Explanations of the incomprehensed. I'll put this stone on your grave. It looks like you, but it means much more. The first honest tombstone. <coughs> Because something is happening to us. The change unexpected, the consequences are enormous. Because now we can talk and see each other as more than animals. And form, perhaps, a shape that is not for cutting. And from there, perhaps, steam engines, or bicycle pranks, or radio plays. This is the shape of tomorrow coming slouching across the prairie, wound tight with hunger. That immortal fear those red, red eyes. Caught in the lurch between now and what's next, there is nothing to be done but open up your mouth and pray that someone understands what comes out of it. The gap between speaking and screaming is being crossed, and on the other side is art and God, and yes, we're still starving, but now we're looking upwards. Those newfound eyes, that aching sun. And no one wants to be left behind, the last of the older race. They look the same, but do not dream in all the colors that we do. Do not, do not, do not hear the sucking sound of that pending transformation, but rather the familiar noises of a lioness in the distance while they make their knives a little sharper and listen to the laughter of their children running unseen in the brush, knowing not what they will become. Mm -hmm.